don't turn on the light in the basement. Those were my grandmother's last words to me, said solemnly with abject terror in her eyes. I was nine years old. She seemed like a decrepit monster to me then, a nearly toothless broken skeleton wrapped in weathered skin, possessing thickly hideous knuckles that cracked whenever she moved her long, pale fingers. My dad inherited her house after she died. There was seemingly nothing special about it, just an old brick house in a once wealthy neighborhood. You know, she tried burning this place down, my dad told me one day. Apparently it just didn't take. She never did try selling it though. When we moved in, the door to the basement was boarded up. Odd, but not alarming. We left it alone for a while, busy with other things. But eventually Dad decided he needed to go down and take a look. After prying away the boards, he opened the door, which whined, letting in a musty smell and darkness. And he carefully descended. Grandma said not to turn on the light, I said. Not a problem. He responded from somewhere unseen below. There's apparently only one and the switch doesn't work. I heard him flip it. On. Off. On. Off. On. What's down there? I asked. I saw the cold light of the LED flashlight he turned on. Nothing really. A few minutes later, he came back up, shut the door, and ordered pizza. Not sure why she bothered boarding it up, he said, chewing on a slice. No reason for us to go down there, though. Maybe if we ever run out of storage space. And so, we left the basement alone. Again. As I grew up, I became increasingly aware the world is a shadow place, full of evil, having nasty hidden corners, in which unexplainable events occur, hinting at the supernatural. For a long time, I considered this a normal part of becoming an adult, something everyone goes through. When I was 17, I started a part-time job at a retirement home. It was there I met Father Akinyemi. He had known my grandmother, and I found that I enjoyed talking to him. Despite being almost 90 years old, he kept an open mind and listened whenever I explained my existential dread to him. Your grandmother, she believed in evil, he said one fall day. Physical evil. Monsters. Here he lowered his voice so none but I could hear. She confessed once that within her house, in the basement, if memory serves, there was a light switch. But rather than turn on and off the light, 
the switch turned on and off the demons. How I ran home then, through a storm, through thunder and through pouring rain, and at home, out of breath, ripped open the basement door and stumbled, nearly falling down the stairs into darkness, and felt half mad and blindly for the switch, on and turned it off. But in all those years, I wonder just how much evil, how many demons did we, ig in ignorance, let pass into this world.